Good afternoon, YouTube. Okay, I am an unabashed Apple nerd. I bought my first Macintosh back in 1994. It was the Macintosh TV. I've always had an Apple computer ever since then. That Macintosh TV, get this, you can laugh at me as much as you want. It had a 180 megabyte hard drive, five megabytes of RAM. It, your pictures these days are bigger than that entire hard drive and bigger than that, that RAM. It's ridiculous what a computer was like back in 1994 compared to today. And it turns out that computer actually was very collectible and I sold it on eBay for like $500. So that was pretty cool. Um, so like I said, I've always had iMacs, Apple computers, different ones throughout the years. I have Apple stock. I am an Apple nerd. So that brings me to today's project. This might be a more than one day project. I've got my old iMac. This thing is a work of art. This was a beautiful state-of-the-art computer when it came out. It's got this articulating arm. The screen stays flat and it doesn't lose its position as you move it around. It's got this rounded base. It's just, it is a beautiful, beautiful work of Apple art that was a functional computer. This computer actually still works. It's so slow, the amount of memory on it and everything is not worth actually doing anything with in that regard. But I've seen pictures over the years of people turning these into a desk clamp. And it's something I've been wanting to do for years. Uh, I've had this thing sitting around on my shelf. It's just sitting in the basement. And I'm like, today's the day. I'm finally going to tackle this thing. I've de seen different versions of it where this is, you know, ultimately, this is going to be your lampshade. Uh, the CD drive, it folds down. So you do have to take that off and glue it on. No big deal. Uh, you want to keep the Apple logo nice and visible because it's, it's pretty in chrome. So ultimately, this is your lampshade. Some people use this as like an articulating arm so that you've got the arm sticking out of a base and it, it can pivot and move. Other people just make a straight up and down lamp um, where this is the shade and this is your arm. But ultimately, somehow, some way, I'm going to turn this into a lamp. I'm going to have to get the guts out of some lamp, maybe a cheap one from Walmart or thrift store, or my basement, I don't know, and make a lamp out of it. And the funny thing is I've been wanting to do this project for so long, the technology has changed and people warned about you can't make uh, a lamp using too hot of a bulb because back when people were first starting to do this, people were using incandescent bulbs and they were worried about it being too hot and melting the plastic. That, that concern is no longer around now. With fluorescent light bulbs and LED light bulbs, I can make any kind of shape and configuration I want and not worry whatsoever about it being too hot. So that might be a cool idea. Make a desk lamp and I'm gonna start tearing this thing down and let you guys uh, pay attention with me and figure out how we're gonna do this. And like I said, I've seen pictures. I don't know exactly what my final configuration is gonna look like. So I'm gonna stop the camera here and there as we go and figure out how to take this thing apart. And then when I've got it down to the base components, I'm gonna figure out like what it is I wanna do. I got this bottom plate off of it. This thing alone is a beautiful piece of Apple art. I mean, you can make a clock or something out of this. You got this brushed aluminum, fancy looking plate. And then you've got the, the Apple stamp in the middle of it. This is definitely getting incorporated somehow into the project. Managed to get the bottom of this thing off. There's so much dust in here. It's kind of amazing that this thing even functioned. I mean, that's an insane amount of dust. Oh well, don't need it anymore. All right, it was a whole bunch of screws, but I did manage to get the base all the way apart. There's a big old hunk of metal. That's the, uh, I don't know what you call that thing, salad bowl or something. That's, that's a big chunk of metal. But I managed to get the key price of the prize here, right here, uh, the plastic bowl. It's separate. I got quite a pile of parts here, but I'm well on my way to making a lamp. Got the arm apart. Now I'm gonna get the screen off of the arm and keep on moving. All right, I got the arm undone. I got the lampshade undone. Everything's undone. 
the wires were very difficult to pull out of the arm and now I'm wondering if that was a bad idea if I needed to keep those wires in there to either use them for electricity or to pull new wires through because I'm not being able to pull push wires through and I don't see any way to take this arm apart so that might have been a bad idea pulling the wires through now my next step is to try to figure out what kind of configuration I'm gonna build in order to make this thing into a lamp yeah but I am I'm on the case it's somehow some way this is gonna become a lamp oh, that's all right okay so latest update on the lamp project got everything apart went to Lowe's and I bought a sacrificial lamp so I might use this frame as part of my lampshade I'm not exactly sure yet I do need to I got the uh, the cover here for the CD drive I got to glue that in place with some super glue and I'm gonna glue this base on to make it look like a nice finished shape it's gonna look cool uh, I put this metal base on the outside of this and screwed it down after getting all the guts out of it so that that's gonna look cool and I'm gonna end up putting the arm I'm gonna drill a hole through here and screw it down so that's gonna be the arm for the lamp and then I got a sacrificial lamp from Lowe's to get the on off and the power cord so I was able to cut this base out of the, the back of the monitor and I made like a giant washer out of it because it already had holes in it for mounting to the articulating arm. So I just made a big washer and I squished this base, this, uh, this sleeve a little bit, just pinched it down so it would fit real nice. And then I put the four screws in, tighten those down to clamp it and that's, that's not gonna go anywhere. So I ran the cord through the next thing is I need to assemble the arm together, which I was trying to do that. The spring is heavy duty and I was having a really hard time stretching it. And plus it's got these plastic bushings in there that I think keep it from moving and also help it look a little better. Um, I'm gonna super glue those in place to make it easier so they're not falling out when I'm stretching the spring. Cause I need to route the cord through and then stretch everything and it's, it's kind of hard stretching this spring. So that's that's my next step is to do a little bit of super gluing and then try to get this arm assembled. And from there, I'm gonna have to drill a hole in this base and I'll pretty much be ready to start assembling the lamp and seeing how it works. So that's where I'm at. Okay, I'm getting close now. I got the lamp hacked together. I got the wires ran through the arm. The arm moves a little bit so I can kind of position it the way I want. I got some super glue work done here. Well, that's kind of a mess. That wasn't supposed to happen. I'm gonna have to peel that off. Hopefully it's not permanent. Um, last thing I gotta do pretty much is drill a hole through this base so I can mount the arm on the base and then figure out a way to put the lampshade on and my lamp is gonna be done. The camera I was using to film the progress on the lamp died in, in progress and I wanted to finish the lamp up so I didn't get any more videos of in progress but it was almost done anyway. So I do have the lamp finished and I'm going to show it to you now. I've got some pictures as well. I feel like I've achieved the ultimate apple dork status at this point. Here it is in all its glory. The finalized lamp. And I even made a coaster for my coffee mug. The coaster is made out of the back of the monitor. Kind of goes along nicely with the lamp. I did ruin the finish on the lamp a little bit, but it's also got kind of an artsy feel. What happened is I got a little super glue. I was gluing the DVD drive cover in place and a little bit of super glue leaked and got on it. And I tried to use acetone to remove it and it ended up destroying the finish. So I decided, and still didn't even get the super glue off. So what I did was I poured acetone over the whole thing and I kind of gave it a streak look. I'm not sure if I like it or if I think it looks kind of dingy and gross. Uh, I might eventually 
just take all the paint off and then repaint it with a smooth surface. It turns out this Chrome Apple logo, which I thought was like metal and embedded, it's just a Chrome sticker. So I'm worried that if I tried to take all the paint off and redid it or just removed all the surface and just had a plain plastic um, cover there, that I would also lose that sticker. Uh, I'm going to show you the underside of the lampshade or the underside of the lamp and show you how that worked out. So I glued on, I glued this cover on all the way around the edge. And then the way it looks on the inside here. So I've got the arm and it bolted onto the neck of this donor lamp that I got from Lowe's. And then I cut the neck of the, or the uh, lampshade off and custom linked in the arms for it. Got an LED bulb, so I don't have to worry about heat. You can put my hand right on it. It's never gonna get hot. It's not gonna melt the cover. And it, it actually worked pretty well. Uh, I think it's, it's pretty stylish and I'm kind of digging the coaster addition to it as well. And that's the conclusion of the Ample Apple Lamp Project. I hope you enjoyed watching it. If you like this content and more stuff like it, please subscribe, give us a like, give us a comment. We'd appreciate it. Thanks very much.